Hi guys, in this video I'm going to tell you how do you create a menu like this using Power Apps. Uh, so the special thing about this menu is uh, it has it's based on gallery control. It has three rows and different rows, different items take you to different screen. And they also have their own unique thumbnails and unique icons. So for example, uh, this is a simple and silly demo app. When I click on the first item in the gallery, it takes me to home screen. When I click on the second one, it takes me to chat screen. And when I click on the about, it takes me to about screen. And this is all done based on the gallery control. A while ago, uh, I had done, uh, using my Cloudatica channel, I had done uh, a video how to navigate across screens. And here I was telling you about the concept of navigating from one screen to another in Power Apps. And I got some great comments there. David and Rami, these two guys wanted some help on how do I use gallery for this kind of navigation where different items take me to different screen and also have the different thumbnails. Um, so uh, let's see how do you create a menu like that in Power Apps. So I'll keep this open. Maybe I'll stop it from run mode and I'll create this kind of app from scratch so that you get the idea. But I'll keep copying some formula and other things uh, while doing that just to save time and you'll also see that sometimes I will make some mistakes and that's fine that's how you will see how you can uh, do things yourself and it doesn't look too fast or too artificial so okay so I'm going to create an app now you see that power apps has three options canvas model driven and portal in some other video I can tell you the difference but let's go to the canvas this is the oldest way of creating power apps uh, I let it create a new uh, template app. While it is doing that, let me also tell you that time you can use the concept that I'm telling you also to create a bottom tab like this, like you see here. Very similar concept. I will not build that in this video, but just telling that you can do that. And if you're interested in future, I can also give you details of this. So very similar concept. You click on this bottom menu and you go to different screens. This is a very standard way of doing UI in some of the modern mobile apps. Okay, hopefully my empty power apps is created. Um, yes, it is. Um, I want to, let's say in this case, create a blank app. I'm not going to connect to any data sources for this one because I just want to demonstrate how do you use a menu item not really saving data or anything. So it's getting things ready. Um, so here's the Power Apps with first empty screen. Now, uh, the, what's the first thing we should do for creating some menu like this? Like I said, it's based on gallery control. So I'm going to take a gallery control. Um, let me take maybe blank one or let me take the image one because we might get something closer to this and we can always change it later if we want to all right so i got a simple gallery control which has data and image coming from a sample collection that power apps provide i'm assuming you are aware of this concept called collection because you will need that in this video. Um, if you don't know about collection, you can uh, either read up from Power Apps Help article or let me know. I can do some introductory video in the future on collection. But think of collection as a table in the memory of Power Apps. So you don't need to really go to uh, some data source like SQL or Common Data Service or Excel or anything. It just a table that temporary table that you can create in the memory of power apps as soon as you close the power apps session that that collection gets wiped out and when you start it again it gets created again all right so uh, for this gallery this is based on some sample collection what we will do the trick here is to create a collection that has that menu item that i showed here in my demo app Sorry, my computer gets 
we are at tens. So, so these things will come from the collection. So in this gallery, first I'm going to create a collection and I'm going to do it on the on visible event of the screen. So that means as soon as the screen is loaded, this collection will get created. So I'm going to do clear collection, sorry, clear collect. Clear collect means whatever is there in the collection, whatever is already there in the table, just wipe it out and then insert these things again. Okay. And I'm going to give the name to this collection, menu, collection and start adding item. So, and I always like to start small and see how things are working. So let's say the first item I will say is, uh, maybe I can follow the same thing that I did here on visible and here is the collection that I created. Uh, let me use the same name maybe, menu list and I'll copy the first item only to show you how it starts working. So let me do this, copy it, paste it. Okay, so you got a collection, name of the collection is menu list. It has three fields, menu name, so menu, target screen, and right now it shows some error because we don't have a screen of this name and we'll fix it. And it has another one which says thumb home thumbnail and that's also showing an error because we don't have this kind of image or any object like that. So it's giving an error and we can, we'll fix it and I'll show you how. Uh, let's add one more item here and then we will build screen and then slowly and slowly start fixing these problems. So let's add another one, another record, and I'm going to call it, let's say about, or let's say chat, let's do it in the same order, chat, name of the screen will be chat screen, and I'm following some convention so that it becomes easy for me to remember which screen is which. So, okay, so now this menu list has two items uh, and it has the name of the menu, the target screen, where that menu should take me to and the thumbnail. Now what I'm going to do just for sake of my convenience and best practices, I'm going to rename this to menu screen. And this is a convention that I typically follow uh, because there's so many controls and screen. I normally first give the logical name and then type of control so that I remember what is what. Now I'm going to add a new screen and let's say a blank screen and I'll call it um, chat screen or let me say home screen and I'll add one more and I'll call it chat screen okay so if I go back to my first screen where I was creating this I have home screen now in my um, uh, in my app that's why this error went away I have chat screen now that's why this er error went away but I need these two thumbnails also so uh, for for that we have to add some um, media in my app so I'm gonna go to file and media and add some images right now there is no images let me browse and I have already downloaded some uh, images that I thought will be good for me to uh, uh, for me to add in the power apps so I'll go to power apps and these are the three images that I wanted to add here so I'm just grabbing all these three and you will see that as soon as these three images are added to my power apps, now if I go back to that screen, these errors are gone, hopefully, maybe not. So maybe I did not type the name properly. Oh, so there's some case problem here, I think. No, let me see what's the file name. About thumbnail home, yeah, so it's a case problem. Okay, so this should be uppercase, 
and this should also be uppercase. So now we are looking good and all these errors are gone. Good. So now we have basic screen which is menu. It has gallery. Uh, I have not yet connected this gallery to the collection that I made and that's fine. I'll fix it. I have home screen. I have chat screen. Um, and you know uh, on visible of this, this collection gets created. So I'm anyway triggering this when I go to some other screen and come back. But just in case when you do it and you don't see this collection getting populated and you're wondering what's happening, you need to just go to some of the screen and come back to it. Uh, other way to check that is uh, you can also uh, go to your uh, collections, view collections, and you can see what's there. And you'll see this value that you already put. So that's another way to kind of debug whether it worked or not. Okay, now, so let's go back to this gallery and I'm going to uh, add this collection that I created. So menu list and that's it. So now you see that this is smartness of Power Apps. This is where it starts coming in is as soon as I did it, uh, Power Apps uh, intelligently guessed what would be the controls that I would like to put, what would be the value that I would like to put. And it just ma made its best case, which is pretty good. Uh, the thumbnail already came from the image. It already took the name of the uh, the screen. It also did it again, which I don't want, so I'll just get rid of it. But still, it's pretty good to get started. Let me go back and see if there is something else that I should do. Uh, I think this is pretty good. Um, and I can move it a little bit just to make it a bit prettier. I can even change the font size. Again, I'm not best at these things and also this is not the point of this, but just doing some simple things also is very easy. Now my goal is for these buttons to take me to the target screen. So now in the previous one, I said you can use navigate from this button to the other screen. But here the trick is that if I do that, all the buttons will take me to the same screen. So let me first do that thing so that you know uh, what I'm talking about. So if I say navigate and if I say home screen uh, and stop here on home screen, let me put something so that I know that this is home screen. So I'm going to put a big label here to show that when I come here, I can clearly see this is home screen I'll make it a bit bigger it's a 40 uh, let me do the same here uh, this is chat screen okay uh, and let's see what happens now so when I come here, uh, let me do one more thing so that it becomes easy to come back to menu. Otherwise, once we go to that screen, there's no way to come back. So let me insert a button which has something like um, back to back to menu. right and I'm gonna on this one it should take me to again navigate me to the menu screen so when I'm ready to go back I can navigate to menu screen let me copy this come back here do the same okay so now from my menu when I run it I click on this I come to home screen when I click on this I again come to the home screen and that's a problem because I want the second one to take me to the chat screen and the first one to take me to the uh, home screen okay uh, we'll fix it but just to make this menu complete let me do some very simple thing because this basic thing is working is also add something about about screen although I could have done this demo with just two screen but just to make sure that it's even more clear about 
I'll add a screen about which doesn't exist but we'll fix it we already got the about thumbnail so that's not a problem uh, did we yeah about thumbnail all right so we just need to add a about screen maybe I'll use a very simple way I'll just duplicate one of these and make some changes so, okay I got a duplicate I'll rename it and make it about screen all right make sure that I call it about screen and we're all set all right so we have these basic things okay what's the problem here now uh, what mistake did we make chat screen about screen we have all these things what did we screw up okay view collections hmm okay let's see on visible of this anything wrong no no um, what's wrong here about screen what got corrupted oh okay so i got two comments and that kind of confused this guy let me come back here and see what happens okay so we're set yeah sometimes these small errors can throw off everything and it might look like this is end of the world but if you just take calm it's not that bad and i'll just make sure that it looks like menu screen a little bit i always think that i will not worry about these things but i end up worrying a little bit so let me just do that and fill it with blue color so that looks like title i want to make it as close as possible to this thing that i did earlier uh, so bear with me i'll change the color to white and since this is so easy to do in power apps i just end up doing it anyway okay all right so now we have this basic skeleton all we need to do is fix these menu to go to directly okay so one thing uh, if we go back to on visible one thing you might have noticed that we added this second uh, field if you will in the collection so think of this collection as a table these are three different records three different rows and each row has a column called target screen and you might wonder why are we doing it and where are we using it so far we are not we are only using menu to show the text and the thumbnail but target screen is the trick that will is the magic that will do the trick for us to go to different screens dynamically so so far these arrows are going to home screen always and all i need to do is remove that and instead of putting the name of the screen i'm going to say this item that means the item current item of the gallery and i will just choose the field called target screen and that's it we should be good now so let me start this and home button is taking me to home screen chat button is taking me to chat screen and about button is taking me to about screen and that's it it was as simple as that all you had to do is create this collection have a field for target screen have a field for thumbnail and just add these screens and thumbnails and that's it you can create this kind of menu uh, before i end i'll just remind this again you can do the same thing use the same concept for creating this kind of bottom menu as well and maybe that that is a homework for you just try doing it yourself and if you need my help let me know hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful uh, let me know uh, if you have any comments or questions or if you want my help in some other video or if you want me to teach you something one on one do get in touch with me my contacts are here in the description um, have a great day